Hi folks, in this video we're going to look at how you can create a drop down menu using the new Google drop down chips in Google Sheets. So let's get stuck in. To start off with, just to let you know these, these statuses that I've got listed here, they're just for examples in a moment. So we're going to get started with the basic version right now. If you right click in any cell, you can see this new drop down option here. Alternatively, you can find that in the insert menu at the top, just down here as well. Either way will get you to the same place and it puts a drop down chip into the cell. And on the right hand side, you can see the data validation rules. So Google made a, another change with the drop down chips. They, they moved the data validation rules to the right hand sidebar as opposed to the pop up that they used to have. Okay, so to start off with this apply to range just specifies where the drop down chip will be. In this case, we're just applying it to D2. But for example, you could expand that to say more cells like this. So in our case, we just want this to be in one cell. So we'll have to actually just delete these now. So, okay, so that's just applying it to that one cell. Now in this criteria dropdown, it's only these two options that we're concerned with. Everything else here applies to general data validation rules. So you can basically ignore all of that stuff. So we'll start with this first one here, this basic dropdown. With the basic dropdown, you just get these options here that you can sort of hard code into dropdown options, basically. So we can sort of say here, backlog, for example, and not started. And then what you could also do is change the colors in here as well. And when you do that, you can get a preview of what the color looks like down the bottom here is quite nice and then if we click done over here now when we click the drop down menu you can see your options with the associated colors in there like that if we click back on here to open this back up again you'll notice that there's advanced options we're going to look at that in a moment when we look at the second drop down option here but just to let you know you can add other options quite easily just by clicking this and then adding them in manually like this. And of course you can change the color of the, of the chip as well. So that is the basic dropdown option there. Now let's look at the second option in here with the dropdown from a range. This is where, if we just come out of there for a second, with this one here from the range, we're going to use this as our range now. Now typically that you probably have these on a separate sheet. They wouldn't be on the same sheet that we're working on here right now. Just for simplicity, I've included them here, but the process is the same. You click this little icon here to select your range. And if it was on a different sheet, you'd click that sheet and then choose the range. So in our case, we're just going to choose this by selecting it. And you can see it puts it in here like this. If click OK it pulls these in for us. And now what you could also do is just remove this last five to make the range open-ended. And then what we could do is we could add another option in here. And then what should happen is, is this would include it in here as well, although it didn't show initially. Um, it would include any other options that you put in thereafter because the range is open-ended. So that's just something to bear in mind. So let's just delete those for now. And we'll come back in there again. Okay, so we've got our four that we that we started with here. And again, the same thing applies. So you can apply the colors and you can see the preview at the bottom here on all of these options. Let's just choose some nice colors. And so if we click done and have a look at this now, same sort of thing, um, except we're using it from this range now. Now I do prefer this way because as I say, it makes makes it more dynamic. You can add and change things just from that, that, that standard list that you've got stored somewhere in the sheet. Okay, so let's have a look at the advanced options. You can tick this box to show a help, um, help pop up. So if you start typing something in here, you get this little thing come up here, um, which I find quite useful. You can just click that and it will give you some text to put in. So click and enter a value from the range. And the reason that's there is if someone, for example, typed something that wasn't in the list, 
then they would see this message come up here. That's the reason to have that there. And you're, you're basically rejecting the input in this case. But if we chose the show a warning and we put it in here, you see this little red triangle here and then it's telling you that you must input something from the range. It's not particularly helpful. It's not this me actual message here. Um, I prefer using this reject input because it just gives you this pop up here. It keeps the lists clean basically so that nobody can type in anything that they shouldn't do basically. The other things to look at is the display style. So you can have the chip style, which is obviously probably preferred for most people with the, these chips and the colors. Although again, you don't have to use the colors. The old fashioned arrow. So again, it does use the colors still, but if you didn't have those colors, then it's just, I mean, it, it, it's all personal preference really, but if you want to do it like this, where you fill the whole cell in, but if we, choose reset on this in fact i don't think you can do a, a white unless you choose and do the background as white and so you could do it that's the old style um you know so when you choose this obviously i haven't changed the other ones right now but anything that had that white background would just look the way that they used to look when you could create them from data validation in the past but I've got to say, I think I prefer the um, the chip style anyway, but if you want it, the arrow's there. And then the plain text is just literally, you double click in the cell and choose what you want. And again, you can just switch all these off so that they're not there at all. Um, it's not obvious that this is a drop down, but if you double click, you can obviously choose the one you want. So that's pretty much it for the uh, the drop down chips. The only thing I would probably say is that, you know, when you're done and you don't want to use them anymore, um, there's two ways to get rid of them. Essentially, you can, if I close this a second, if you click on the menu, you get this pencil to come up to edit the actual menu itself. That brings this up here. What you can do is you can remove the rule from here like this. So if I click that, then this whole thing will just disappear. Alternatively, if you just click on the cell, and then just delete. It deletes what's there first time and then you delete again and it actually deletes the whole thing. And it's a little bit strange that they've done that really because obviously that probably people might delete that by accident. So just something to bear in mind, um, you know, if you want to, um, if you want that protected, you probably should protect that cell using the view cell more actions and then protect the range. So that's just something to bear in mind. But as I say, probably most people would go via this road and. Uh, edit the button and then remove the rule like that then we can just delete that text and there's nothing in there now so that is drop down chips in google sheets if you check out my website spreadsheetwise.com i've got a full article there explaining this in full detail as well so go and have a look at that and if you like the video please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you next time thanks for watching folks